making his way with his son Toby, who you met earlier, holding the uh, IBF Cruiserweight uh, Championship belt. Ricky Parkey on his way toward the ring out of Morristown, Tennessee, a record of 19 and 4, 12 by knockout. IBF title last October stopping Leroy Murphy in the 10th round. So Holyfield and Parkey are closing in on fight time. Ricky Parkey who does have a big punch the overhand right and will snap off the jab occasionally. Holyfield, on the other hand, fast for Big Band, tries to use that speed and quickness, and we will race to the ring. Here is Chuck Hall. For the next bout of the evening, the judges are Frank Cairo, Michael Gliena, and Cindy Barton. The timekeeper is Mike Morabito. Coming to the knockdowns, Charlie Roth. The attending position ringside, doctors Donald Romeo, Cliff Polanski, and James Gaines. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee for the next bout of the evening, Mr. Davey Pearl. This is the main event of the night. 15 rounds of boxing for the IBF Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 188 pounds. He is the WBA Junior Heavyweight Champion of the World and the challenger in this contest. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Evander Holyfield. And in the red corner, fighting out of Morristown, Tennessee, weighing 187 and one half pounds, introducing the IBF Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Ricky Parkey. Scoring on the 10-point must, handled by the three judges. And the three-knockdown rule not in effect. There is a mandatory eight count. The tail of the tape showing the reach advantage for Holyfield. Scheduled for 15. Going right at Holyfield. He threw that left. It's the right hand that you've got to watch with Parkey. Parkey throws a strange, arcing, looping right hand. The one that knocked out Leroy Murphy. He's opening up with action right from the opening bell. And Holyfield getting the right hand in. There are many who felt that Parkey would look to stay away, but he comes out at Holyfield. Uh, these are two champions, no question about it. And then come out to fight from the opening bell. Here in Las Vegas, the only bidding proposition you could get on tonight's fight concerns whether it would last four rounds. A hundred dollar bet. Uh, the fight won't last four, would pay 150, while it takes 190 dollars to win 100. But the fight will last four, then four rounds, showing a lack of confidence in Ricky Parkey. Would you go over that again, along with the IBF, Later on. AB, ABC rules and WBC? Oh, he, he just got hit while he was in a break. Parkey just got hit on a break. He kept looking at the referee, faking out Holyfield, and then threw a, a right hand, which did not land. Ricky Parkey coming in with a bag of tricks. He's got that, that wild right we talked about. You'll see it all night long. He throws a looping, long, long right hand, and somehow it seems to hit. Now the plan set out by Georgie Benton for Holyfield. Strong right hand from Holyfield. Was to jab, jab, jab in order to take that right hand away from Parkey. Make him block the jab and therefore not throw the right hand. Holyfield able to double up with the left.
up, says the referee, Davey Pearl. And Holyfield right on target. And close that distance. Holyfield willing to fight in close. Nice left hand by Holyfield. And again, the left got in. Final seconds of the first round. Holyfield scoring with lefts and rights in this first round. In all my experience, the most clever Robinson of the corner, Ricky Parkey, had said that Parkey's awkward style would confuse Holyfield. Parkey came out unleashing with that looping right hand, but there was no confusion. Holyfield able to battle back and did hurt Parkey. Parkey fighting back. He's got a bulldog in there today. Holyfield Parkey is not taking it lightly. He just comes battling right back every time he gets hammered. But the more effective punching is being done by Holyfield right now. This is for the IBF Cruiserweight Championship. However, Holyfield says if Parkey wins, he will give him his WBA Junior Heavyweight Championship belt. punches being put in there by both men. They're standing close. There's no effort to get away. Look at Parkey working away. Combination by Holyfield. Both men taking turns. Holyfield with a slight edge because of the uh, effectiveness of the punches. the halfway mark of this second round. Parkey is a punching machine. Look at this. knockout of Roderick Mason back in December of 84, and he went right at Holyfield as the bell went to start the fight. And Holyfield has no easy task today. Not only is Parkey putting in a lot of punches, but a lot of them are zinging in low, which is going to sap the strength of Holyfield if, if this continues at this pace. Pearl has not warned either fighter as yet. Parkey in the 
indicating with the uh, motion of the right hand that he's going to try and throw the big right. That's what he told us earlier. Let's see. And winked at Holyfield like saying, well, you got the better of that. His legs are still under him, but they're tingling and dangling. He doesn't have good control of his legs. And Holyfield just teeing off with combinations. The three knockdown rule is not in effect under the IVF rule. And certainly he is in bad shape this time. Pearl's going to have to make a quick decision. This next series of blows. Coming up on 30 seconds to go third round as Holyfield is looking to finish Parkey off. And that is not the knockdown. That was a slip. Holyfield comes right after Parkey, who has nothing. And that's it. It's all. Evander Holyfield has stopped Ricky Parkey in round three. So Evander Holyfield is now both the WBA heavyweight champion and the IBF cruiserweight champ. Of the knockout 244 of round three. An impressive performance by Holyfield, who had his hands full for all three rounds. Parkey not at all an easy opponent, but he just the devastation of his punches, they were landing accurately, crisply, and his game plan just paid off for him. Ricky Parkey in a valiant performance, but he could not really stand up to a performer that was as hot as Holyfield was tonight. And now it appears that Evander Holyfield will defend his title against a fellow by the name of Ossie Jaws Ocasio. Yeah, that's the way the boxing politics go. Uh, certainly the box office doesn't demand it, and I don't know who would pay for it, but uh, by the same token, the WBA would strip him, Evander Holyfield, of his title if he did not defend against Ocasio. So he feels he doesn't want to lose a title that way, although he could keep the IBF title and fight Kawi. If that's confusing you, imagine what it's doing to the promoters who have to dig in their pocket and pay for that uh, next fight between Ocasio and uh, the champion, Holly, uh, Hollyfield. And a very impressive performance by Evander Holyfield. We have uh, more boxing coming up here on Sports World. We Chef Pazienza, who is the pride of uh, Providence, Rhode Island. Vinny is with us here at the ringside in Corpus Christi. And Greg Haugen has joined us from our NBC studio uh, in Las Vegas at KVBC uh, Television. And uh, Vinny and Greg have been very fond of each other, particularly the last couple of weeks as we are closing in on fight time. Vinny, let me start with you. Why are you and Greg going at each other? Great guns. Is there anything good that you can say about Greg Hogan? Well, this all started out as a boxing match, but Greg Hogan wants to be a wise guy, and he turned it into a verbal feud. Um, he don't deserve to hold the championship belt. He don't deserve that honor. He's just a street kid. He's a punk as far as I'm concerned. And I'm going to bring him back to reality. He can go back to fighting club fights on ESPN because um, that's where he belongs. Well, Greg, off those nice words, what is your reaction? Well, I just think Vinny's seen one too many Rocky films. Uh, I hope he's half as tough as he talks. We're going to find out. We'd be finding out today. Uh, but he made an excuse and... Uh, you know we're not we're not getting it on today but june 7th uh you know we'll be there and uh i just hope you're half as tough as your mouth is Vinny. greg believe me i wish we could have got it on today because i'm ready and i would have put you away today but you should look at this as um somewhat of a favor to you because you've got two more weeks to hold on to that belt i should point out the fight was originally scheduled for this afternoon but uh, Vinny pazienza suffered a uh, broken nose. I know, Greg, you'll be staying away from that nose as a target. Is that correct? Well, uh, it was going to get broke either way. Uh, it'll get broke again. Hey, uh, Greg, you know, I respect you as a fighter. Believe me, you better be ready for a war because I'm in great shape. And unless you plan on getting knocked out, you better be ready to go 15 rounds. And if you do uh, go 15, you better bring your bottle of Tylenol when it's over. Uh, well, this is something Daddy can't buy for you, Vinny, so it's going to be a different story. Yeah, well, today is my father's birthday. I want to say happy birthday. And, Dad, I'll be giving you a belt this year for Chris, for, um, for your birthday present. And it won't be the initials AP on it. There'll be IBF. That's a promise. Well, I just hope your, uh, your dad doesn't get too excited when he sees you laying face down on the mat. Greg, when you come to Rhode Island, I got a little something for you. See these? They're suspenders. 
and I'm going to give these to you so your pants don't fall because you're going to be leaving without the belt. You understand? Then he brings in props. Greg, a, a, a final word from you. Well, I, you know, like I said, uh, we're going to see, Vinny. Uh, I hope you're half as tough as you talk. And come May, June 7th, it will be a war, but uh, you're not going to take my belt. And I'll tell you that right now. Uh, you're going to have to go back to watching Rocky movies with Daddy. Okay. okay, Greg, we'll see you on June 7th. You just be I'll ready. I'll be there. All right, this I'll special presentation of WrestleMania 4 has been brought to you by uh, courtesy of uh, Vinny Pazienza and the IBF lightweight uh, champion, uh, Greg Haugen. Uh, fellas, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Thank you, Marv. All right, Vinny Pazienza, who will be going up against Greg Haugen in Providence two weeks from today, right here on NBC Sports. For the fight, Dr. Ferdy Pacheco, this is Marv Albert saying so long from Corpus Christi. Now for a wrap